you know, you guys are looking ahead to the future, but also trying to figure out where you are and what your window of opportunity is for the playoffs. You're in the Central, which it seems no one is going to run away with. My question is, how do you assess that window of opportunity and gauge the opportunity to climb through that window as opposed to, well, we better start planning for next year? I think, I think when you look at, you know, the easiest thing to look at is how many games behind we are in the division. Um, but that's part of the part of the puzzle, right? There, there are there are times when you're four games back and you're the you're the second place team, and all you have to do is catch up to one. There's times when, you know, in like the wild card race in the AL, the team who's four games back might have seven teams between them, right? And so, we look at we look at, you know, how far back we are from a playoff spot. We look at who the teams are that we're chasing, how good those teams are, how we expect them to play the rest of the year, how we expect our team to play the rest of the year, and and we weigh all those things and look at sort of where we are and 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 where what our chances are of, you know, of, of making a move. And look, it happens quickly, right? Like, you know, you win f five out of six and the team you're chasing has a, you know, goes through a little bit of a tailspin and all of a sudden those, that math changes quickly, which is why, you know, this is something that we keep, we keep reevaluating, you know, every day. As it sits now, are you pursuing that window of opportunity? Do you feel good about the possibility of getting into the playoff? Yeah, I mean, I, look, we, we, we could certainly be in a better position than we are right now, but we're not in a position where we're dead. We're, we, we are lucky to be in a division where being four games under 500 doesn't doesn't you know isn't a death knell. We still have a shot. We we have to start playing to our potential if we're going to make this happen, and we don't have much time to, to to wait for that to start happening. But but we're not we're not we're not dead yet. Last thing before we let you go, if you were looking for short-term improvements, what areas do you think? could stand uh, improving right now with this ball club. Give me a couple areas where you say we would look at this or maybe we are looking at that. I mean, look, we're just looking to improve the team. And and there's there's we try to just be open to any area. There are area, If you focus on one thing and we, we have to have this X to improve our team, you limit your market that you can work in. You, you, you force yourself to deal with only one or two teams or one or two players. We're looking to improve the team anywhere we can, and we're always doing that. If we were five games up in the division, we'd be looking at the same same opportunities. Where can we improve the team to help us win? And that, that doesn't matter. It doesn't change by where we are on the standings. One of the downsides of the new job, having to deal with the media, but you were a good sport about it, and we appreciate the time. Thanks, Scott. All right, that's the new general manager, Michael Gersh, guys.